on this matter. And the, the legal imprimatory for that is Section 11, Subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution, which diaphanously spelled out that if any state of, if any state of Alpha Assembly finds himself in a position where he can no longer discharge his constitutional onus probandi, which, which devolves around making laws for the other peace and good governance of the state, then the National Assembly has a right to intervene, albeit paternalistically. Uh, and anybody who says that the situation in the River State Assembly was not ripe for the National Assembly's intervention, then, then, then that person must be in a state of phantasmagoria. So for me, the National Assembly was right to have done what they did. You know, but having said that, let me say that, yes, there are no direct evidential substratum fingering the villa or the presidency with the imbroglio in River State. But the Senate committee fingered the, the, the party, the PDP, the Senate committee fingered the presidency, and the Senate committee equally fingered the wife of Mr. President. I'm just putting records straight as they are unfolding. But let me equally say that there are circumstantial evidence, a, conu a conucopia of circumstantial evidence, that suggests, quote, era demonstrandum, that the presidency, after all, may not have been an objective political bystander in this event. And what are these circumstantial evidence? One, Mr. President received in courtesy call Jonah Jank, Jonah Jank's faction. We all watched, we all watched the video evidence. No matter how, no matter how, how premature the, the video recordings was, that that faction did not win. It gives me many a cap with that and puts me in a state of mental pabulum, therefore, that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is supposed to abhor all anti democratic proclivities, can remain in his comfort zone, excuse me, can remain in his comfort zone and host Jonathan Jang. Secondly, when it was time for them to have a next meeting, the Nigerian Governor's Forum share, the chairman of the Nigerian Governor's <coughs> Forum share, was empty. Just because the presidency does not want to recognize Governor Abmeshi as the chairman of the NGF. The principle of, the principle of maj ma majoritarian rule. The governor, Is that clear? When you say the chair of the Governor's Forum chairman was empty, is that a lot of people have said that the Governor's Forum is not in the Constitution? Uh, National Executive Council does not need or does not have a legal uh, demand on it to have the chairman of the Governors Forum attending National Executive Council for a meeting. Whereas I'm in party material with you, sir, that the NGF is not a constitutional item, but the history of this country, the history of, of certain arrangements by the Nigerian governors with the president until this until, um, until this uh, Iggy Haga showed that there was always a sitting chair for the NGF chairman. So why now? Why now? And, 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 and above all, look at the show of infamy. Look at the opprobrious and pandemonious free, free for all fight that became a rumpus overseas in the River State House of Assembly. The majority leader. The majority leader of that house, Shidi Lloyd, is the only one today that is being taken to the scaffold for political and legal hammer screw. You belong to the opposition party. I don't know what you mean by opposition party. <laughs> I'm a member of the Action Congress of Nigeria. That, that, that does not make the ACN an opposition party. Great. You belong to the Action Congress of Nigeria. Better. How is the party responding to this what's the can you let us in to the mood of the party to this crisis the the, the national publicity secretary of the party alajilai muhammad has spoken for the party a vaudeville of times and his views are to the effect that mr president has the responsibility 
to call all the warring factions in River State to order. And when all the governors in the ACN state visited Governor Rotimi Abishi, people thought they were people thought they were going there to engage in incendiary political volcanic species, but no. They advised Governor Rotimi Abishi to say, My brother, because of the security situation in your state, we advise you to go to Mr. President. And that's exactly what my brother Ranta said. We advise you to go to Mr. President. So you can brief Mr. President of the security situation in your country. But the only addition, the only addition I will add to what the governors of ACN said to, to, to Governor Ambeshi is that it could flow either way. Yes, I, I see nothing wrong in Governor Ambeshi going to brief Mr. President. I equally see nothing wrong in Mr. President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria who is supposed to be the father of the nation, to Swamoto, by himself, that is, call Governor Abeshi, invite Governor Abeshi, say, gentlemen, what's happening in River State? What's the pathway out of this? But for, 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 for agents, for agents of the, for agents of states and the security apparatchik to single out the majority leader, for example, who I read in the papers this morning was blindfolded. From 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 Abuja all the way to Patakot, that does not seem to me to 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 go to 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 go well. If you come to my house, mm. if you come to my house to rob mm -hmm. in my house, mm. you expect me to sit down mm -mm. and be looking at you. If you sow wind, you reap well wind. Who caused who caused the crisis in the House of Assembly at, 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 at the first time? Mm. Can five people legitimately impeach? Now, what do you make of the rumors uh, making the rounds that uh, Mr. Governor Amechi may be joining your party? I mean, the, the APC. Lord, the APC, yes. <coughs> Only the evil the devil. He's been advised, he's, he, he's suspension, he's been suspended, he's been asked to leave the PDP. So. Oh, he's not being asked to leave the PDP. Well, some elder statesmen in the advised, party. Advised, yes, advised, advised. advised. But he has said even less than 48 hours ago, he's going to remain in the PDP. Well, what if, if, how about the rumors, you know? That yeah. Quoting Governor Mishi, which my brother has tried now to bring other focal assets on bicep. Quoting him, Ipsisima Weber, only less than 48 hours ago. The man said to the whole world that as far as I'm concerned, I'm still a member of the PDP. And if Mr. President is interested in contesting for the presidency, I will not contest against him. My continued membership and determination, which is casting iron to remain in the PDP, is my greatest proof. So it's not a welcome idea if that happens. When we get when when it gets to that bridge, we may sit down here after sitting down here again to analyze that. All right, then, uh, Mr. Ranta. Uh, let's take a look at the PDP crisis because it seems all of the problems of Nigeria seem to be centered and focused on the PDP. And then just within the last 48 hours, the elder, elderly members of PDP have made accusations against uh, Governor Amici again that he is rude, he is uh, not respectful, and for that reason he can move on. And I would have thought like a number of people have said, that those people will be coming round to say, come together, let us resolve the problem. Well, uh, they, they say different strokes for different people. Uh, the Nas Nigerian National Summit Group met um, on the same day uh, that the elders met in Abuja. And we also made a statement our statement we and remember that we have <laughs> we have a majority of the elders in the pdp in that group we have a large tanko yakasai uh obong victor ata um alaji gambo jimeta uh um, um uh chief chukomeka ezefe and a host of others labo graham douglas and more. I'm talking about the elders. We have got youths, Toyosi, uh, Akerele, um, uh, Byron, a lot of them. What we said is that nobody should take sides. You should find out what is happening. But the first thing that we thought was necessary was to bring both 
uh, leaders of the supposed